The Mystery of the Magic Clock In a quiet village, nestled between rolling hills, lived a brother and sister named Oliver and Emma. One crisp autumn afternoon, while playing in their grandmother's attic, they discovered something extraordinary, a dusty old clock hidden under a stack of forgotten books. The clock wasn't like any ordinary clock. It was covered in intricate golden designs, with shimmering jewels marking the hours and a tiny glowing key hanging from the side. Curiosity sparked in their eyes as they turned the key. The hands of the clock spun rapidly, and suddenly, everything around them began to change. The room shimmered and shifted until they found themselves standing in the same attic, but it looked completely different, frozen in time. The dust and cobwebs were gone, and a grand chandelier hung from the ceiling. Oliver and Emma had no idea what had happened, but they knew the clock held some magical power. Excited and a little nervous, they tried turning the key again. This time, they found themselves back in the village, but something was odd. The once bustling street was eerily quiet, and everything seemed frozen like a painting. Even the wind had stopped blowing, and the trees stood perfectly still. We can control time. Emma whispered in awe. Oliver, always the more daring of the two, decided to experiment. They took turns turning the key, sending them backward and forward through different moments in time. They visited the village as it looked decades ago, with horse-drawn carriages and gas lamps, and even glimpsed a future where the village was filled with tall buildings and flying cars. But as they explored more, they realized that time wasn't something to be played with lightly. In one moment, when they tried to return to their own time, they accidentally broke the key in the lock. Suddenly, they were trapped in a strange loop where the sun would rise and set, but nothing else would change. They were stuck in the same day over and over again. Desperate to fix the clock, they searched for answers. They remembered their grandmother's stories about the Clock of Eternity, a legendary artifact said to control the flow of time. With no other option, they decided to seek her help. Together, they raced to find their grandmother, who had always seemed to know a little more about magic than she let on. When they finally found her, she wasn't surprised to hear about their adventure. She smiled and took the broken clock into her hands. Time is a gift, she told them gently. It should be respected, not controlled. With a soft glow from her hands, she fixed the clock, restoring the broken key. She taught Oliver and Emma how to use the clock wisely, explaining that its power wasn't meant to change time, but to remind them to cherish every moment they lived. With a final turn of the key, they returned to their present time, wiser, braver, and with a deeper understanding of the world around them. From that day on, the brother and sister kept the clock safely stored away, using its magic only when necessary.
And though their days of time traveling had come to an end, the lessons they learned about patience, courage, and the value of time stayed with them forever.